Master Mod Beyblade, and the Temple on Mist Mountain. Dynamis tells Jinga and his friends the history of the Star Fragments and the legendary Blairs. He tells the tale of how a star fell to Earth many centuries ago. A star that broke into fragments, which entered bays on Earth, including one owned by an evil king named Hades. King Hades decided to use this newly powerful bay for his own evil purposes. He named his bay Nemesis, and with his power, Hades spread evil across the world and caused a great amount of suffering. Hades, however, could not control Nemesis, and the bay took on a form of the God of Destruction. A brave king named Zeus gathered five warriors who also had the power of the star fragments in their bays, and together they defeated Hades and Nemesis. They trapped Hades underground, but the king swore that a time would come when he and Nemesis would arise again and take over the world. Dynamis declares with the second coming of the star fragments that time has arrived. He says only the new legendary bladers that have received the recent star fragments can defeat the god of destruction. As this news is being absorbed by Jinga and his comrades, the evil Johannes and his friends arrive, and they demand that everyone in the temple come with them immediately as prisoners. Now then, why don't you kiddies just come along with us nice and quiet? I'm afraid I only follow the true will of the heavens. I have no desire to assist in the revival of the God of Destruction. Thousands of years ago, the God of Destruction predicted his own revival. So isn't the revival of Nemesis actually the fate chosen by the heavens themselves? That is not something that can be decided by Nemesis or the great evil, much less someone like you. Whether the God of Destruction is allowed to be revived or not, is up to the legendary bladers of the Four Seasons, chosen by the new Star Fragment. Huh? Come again? Legendary bladers, you say? When you say the Four Seasons, you mean spring, summer, autumn, and winter, right? What are you talking about? So it seems the Great Evil does not know about these facts. A new light will arrive. A light that will choose new warriors to receive the power of Mother Earth. The stars of the Four Seasons will point the way to a bright future. <sighs> it was a very long time ago when the five solar system blader warriors borrowed the power of Gaia to seal away Nemesis. But the scars left by that battle were severe. <sighs> Remember this, a new light will become a new pit of darkness. When that time comes, the true destruction will begin. This tragedy could not be allowed to happen again. However, it would be the duty of those born into that age to protect the world of the future. In response to the prediction of a revival left behind by Nemesis, King Zeus split Gaia's power into four parts, entrusting that power to the people of the future. He left behind a new prediction for the future, that when the threat of Nemesis' revival approaches, a star fragment will come again and descend on the bays of the Earth's beautiful four seasons. And now that prediction has come true. Of the Four Seasons? As the long years passed, many new bays named after the constellations of the Four Seasons were born. So that's how it came into being, my Pegasus. Oh, the Pegasus constellation of Cosmic Pegasus is an autumn constellation. Huh? And Kilia's Leon! The Leo constellation is a spring constellation! What? And of course... Mr. Ryuga's El Drago Destructor comes from the summer constellation, Draco. Mr. Jenga and the others are the legendary bladers of the Four Seasons! They've been chosen by the new Star Fragment! Are you sure? Therefore, the future's been entrusted to us to save! Those who possess pieces of the Star Fragment have roles to play. The role of the legendary bladers who inherited the solar system bays is to lend their strength in order to prevent the god of destruction from going on a rampage in the event that Nemesis is revived. Ah! And they must choose their own future in the age in which they find themselves living today. That is the role of the legendary bladers who hold the newly created bays of the Four Seasons. To choose our own future, you say? I always have. 
If their hearts are righteous, and if they desire to save the world from the God of destruction, then I will follow the will of the heavens and fight with them. And if they desire the revival of the God of destruction, then that is also the will of the heavens. So Mr. Jenga and the others must have goodness in their hearts. I get it now. Dynamis battled Jenga and Pegasus in order to see if they were truly bladers with good hearts. <laughs> well, then there's no problem. Of course we don't want the revival of the God of Destruction. We'll take down anyone who thinks it's cool to destroy the world. That's just a no-brainer. Right, Kiyoya? Huh? Uh. Huh? Kronos, the Saturn Bay. It came to you, I understand. Huh? You must accept your true role as a legendary blader. You hold one of the solar system bays. Hmm. Are you telling me to throw away the Baylin Fist plans just because you told us some sort of fairy tale? Aguma! The only thing we believe in is our own amazing power. We have but one desire in this world. The revival of the Baylin Fist! You must open your eyes, warrior of Saturn. Your power was not meant for fulfilling your own ambitions. It is not your destiny. Stop talking already! I've had enough of your babbling. Time's up! Now we'll have to take you with us by force! You can try! Go, Hades Crown! Ah. Oh, great! Pegasus! Anubius! Dark Bow! Perusius! Scorpio! Like you'll be my opponent. Think you can handle that action or not? Go, Kronos! You never learn, do you, buddy? Solid Iron Wall! Kyoya! Don't look over there! Waste of time. So, you really think that your attacks can stop Lynx? Oh. <laughs> Too bad for you, pal. Now, just agree to do what I say, okay? That will do nothing. <sighs> that bay is as stubborn as its owner. Dynamics! Huh? An attack like that won't work against my Leon! Now it's my turn to play! Hmm. Oh yes, a blader with goodness in his heart is quite different indeed! However, I won't lose to a so-called lion like you again! What did you say? I don't think you have any fangs, just gums! You say you want to settle the score with Jinga? In the end, you're nothing but talk! Just admit that you believe that guy's nonsense because it makes you feel like some sort of savior! Look here, dude! You don't even know the first thing about me! I've never pretended to be anyone's savior! And I'm gonna defeat Jenga, that's for sure! Listen closely to me! It's no joke! Whoa! Akuma! Forget about the chumps, focus your attack on the legendary bladers! What?! Are you calling a chump?! Uh. Uh, come back here right now! Be careful, Kiyoya! Be careful, he says? Just who do you think you're talking to? Go, Leon! Whoa! He got through Kyoya's Lion Gale Force Wall! What is this? 
I thought you had some spirit, but I was dead wrong, pal. You'll never survive in the wild by yourself. If you show that big of an opening, you'll never last a minute. <sighs> Is that so? Yo, yo, pal! His attacks are sloppy. What is making him so upset? Calm down, Kiyoya. Who asked you? Enough of this! I'll just send all of you flying together! Ah! Leon! Whoa, Don't tell me he's actually planning to use his special move right here! If you use your special move in a place like this, everyone will get hit by it! So what? It doesn't matter to me whether you're an enemy or an ally! I am a lion that lives alone in the wild! All I do is tear apart what's in front of me until nothing remains! Yeah! Ah, the temple will fall! <sighs> what a crazy guy! <sighs> Stop now, Kiyoya! No way! Special move! King Lion Crushing Fang! Ah! 